India is one of the largest consumers of wood and wood products worldwide. Of the total imports, 15% is teakwood, making India the world's largest importer of teak. Though India has the largest area of natural teak forests, annually 1 million cubic meters of teak wood is being imported from about 17 different countries. Ironically, wood logs from South American and African countries form the bulk of imports. Population growth, urbanization and economic development drive this demand. The average yield in India is also very low compared to the global teak productivity. Teak has been grown as short rotation plantations for several years worldwide. Shorter rotation teak tested for strength properties match well with standard teak. Hence, it is advocated for sawn log plantations. Whereas in India, teak is harvested from plantations at an average rotation age of 50 years. Present day plantations of teak in India are raised from seedlings from unselected seed sources. Seed availability from orchards is limited and germination is low. Though teak can be multiplied through stem cuttings, tissue culture is commonly applied for large-scale production of teak plants worldwide. Why is tissue culture teak so very important? Firstly, they grow faster and produce more yield than that of the conventionally seed propagated material. This means that more of teak wood can be produced in a shorter time. This ensures that teak wood is available to meet the country's demand and also it fetches better revenue or returns for the farmers. The second point is that they are genetically uniform. As a result of this, the yield can be predicted better as well as the consistency of the wood quality is also maintained. The ICFRE Institute of Forest Genetics and Tree Breeding at Coimbatore focuses on genetic improvement and clonal teak production through tissue culture. The institute has developed tissue culture protocols for teak from identified superior teak trees of natural stands through a selection process. Coppice shoots from these trees have been collected and assembled in a germplasm bank of the Institute for Mass Production. Nodal segments from these stalks are collected and brought to the laboratory where they are soaked in appropriate sterile solutions to remove dirt, spores and microorganisms. They are then transferred into a culture medium which comprises macro and micronutrients. Growth hormones are also included. The medium is then aliquoted uniformly into culture bottles manually capped well and sterilized in an autoclave. In 45 to 60 days, new shoots emerge from the nodes. These elongated shoots are further excised into nodes and transferred to another nutrient medium for shoot elongation. Quality shoots are taken to the nursery for rooting. Shoots washed in fungicide are dipped in a rooting hormone and placed in root trainers containing moist vermiculite. The root trainers are placed in tightly closed polytems under shade house with misting to maintain high humidity. After 20 to 25 days, the roots are formed. Later, the tunnels are opened and the rooted plants are shifted to shade house. When the hardened plants produce two to three pairs of new leaves, they are transferred to poly bags. The rooted plants show a high survival rates. Our clones have shown promising growth over a 20-year period, revealing scope for a harvest period at 20 to 25 years. In the Randra Yakarla, or Iron Tekumara Natur Gram, I do the Nalu Asha Irke, Nalla Maran, Nalla Valertia, Nalla Verke, Naiduverica, and the Yenda Vormum Podala, Podagula, Indrapan Pana, or Masangarite, Nanga, Woodbeira, and the Ulundu Varacha, Nanga Yellow Potto. Adun Burga, Adata Vashananga, one day, Pusin Potta, Pusin Ling like a Nalamo yield Kadichi, and the Woodbeira in Nala Ying like a Tekumara Yadume Padilama, Nala under there. The global demand for teak wood is expected to continue to grow in the coming years. 
sustainable harvesting and responsible management practices are essential to ensure its long-term availability. The Government of India has been taking measures to increase the country's timber production and reduce its dependence on imports. Encouraged with the early peel performance of teak tissue culture rice plants, a national program is launched to popularize teak clones across the states which are growing teak in the country. This program is supported by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India. In this program, we develop demonstration trial plots in farm lands as well as state forest department lands. Chhattisgarh uh, Forest Department is promoting cultivation of tissue culture teak seedlings in a big way. This year, uh, through a government scheme called Mukhya Mantri Vriksh Sampada Yojana, around 1,800 farmers have registered for cultivation of 6.5 lakh tissue culture teak plants over an area of 2,600 acres. And we are continuing to, to coordinate uh, with IFGTB Koyamathur for procuring uh, good quality teak seedlings. Here we supply plants at the competitive prices. We also uh, give technical assistance in the planting methods, cultural operations and silvicultural practices. Nowadays, several farmers developed the confidence on the growth performance of teak tissue culture plants and coming forward to take up plantations in farmlands. These are our plants that have been put in place. And the plantation has been put in place for 4 years, 40 feet per year. It has been put in place for 40 to 45 centimeters. Plant tissue culture techniques and its applications is imparted to unemployed youth from different states of India. The rising demand for eco-friendly and sustainable products is driving the demand for teak timber, a renewable resource that can be sustainably harvested and replanted. If we increase this plantation, we import 50,000 yards of wood, then we can send 1,000,000 crores of wood to the villages. Mass production of tea through tissue culture is an innovative method which helps us to maintain sustainability as well as support the tea requirement of the country to meet the domestic demand as well as the exports, thereby making the country self-reliant as far as teak wood is concerned. Tissue culture teak has the potential to revolutionize the wood industry in India by ensuring a sustainable and reliable source of high-quality teak wood maintaining a steady supply of wood to meet the demands of various industries while also preserving the environment and supporting local communities moving India towards a wood-secure nation.